So we're going to export a short movie out of Horos now of a 3D. So I'm going to open my case by double clicking on it. I'm going to go to my 3D volume rendering. Um, you can also go to an MIP, um, either one. If you go to MIP, select the no CLUT, no CLUT because that gets you to the black and white view. We don't want any color in a maximum intensity view. We just want black and whites. Um, you can go either way with this. It doesn't matter if you're going to um, you know, choose the uh, MIP view or the color view. Uh, both are great when you're, uh, when you're exporting skull photos or skull movies. Uh, so what I like to do, I like to get this skull, you know, looking at me straight on. Because this is the way I want it to turn. I'm going to use my mouse wheel now. The wheel on my mouse, I'm just pulling it toward me. And it's rolling the skull uh, laterally on the screen. And this animal, this dog has a, uh, a an abscess here over this molar. You can see it bulged out there. I can I can make this a little nicer, maybe a little more prominent by adjusting it. And then maybe I want to shrink it back just a bit. And so now I can do another test with my mouse wheel and make sure that it's rotating properly. I'm going to leave it just a little bit oblique before I do the movie export. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this just a little more. I think that looks fantastic. So to export a movie, I'm going to go to the File uh, tab and then go down to Export and then choose Export to Movie. Click that. Now it's going to ask me how many frames. So I can run this up to 80 frames. I can go way high if I want to. But the more frames you place, the longer the video. So I always stick at 40 frames because that is a four-second video. And then I do 360 degrees on my rotation. And I want the rotation to be horizontal across the screen, not vertical up the screen. Um, my current rendering quality is great, but I want to get the best. And then my size, I'm going to choose 512 by 512 because that usually fits uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, Twitter, all really well. Um, press OK. It's going to ask me to name it, so I'm going to call it um, Color 3D Dental Skull. You can name it whatever you want. I'm choosing, I'm going to the desktop with it. I'm going to save. So now it's going to take off and render this rotating skull into a short video. Um, it's going to make a file that's called a .mov file. And you should be able to upload that .mov file. You can see the name of it here. And we can test it by pressing play. Isn't that fantastic? That's awesome. So now we can take this, this, uh, this file and we can just go and upload it directly to social media. Um, it is a pretty good sized file. Let me see what this is. This is six megabytes. So that's right at the edge of being able to email it. You know, some emails accept six megabytes, many do. Um, you know, other people that you email to, it depends on what their inbox allows. But you could easily attach this to an email and, and send it to someone. But for social media purposes, um, let me pull up a social media tab here. So let's go to Facebook. And I'm going to add this um, to Facebook right quick. I can just grab the file and I can just drag it into my post. And then I can type 3D dental scan on Vimigo. Um, and if I need to tag people, I can do that. I'll tag you. And then post it. 
but it's a four second file that's just going to post right away on uh, Facebook. It's going to say it's processing, make sure it's not pornography or something. But that's basically how that works. Um, if you have any other questions about, you know, exporting, you know, you can you can export a JPEG image of what's on your screen as well, or you can export a DICOM image uh, what's on your screen. So the more you play with Horos, the easier it's going to be to use. Have a great day.